Philista Nasoro and Vivian Mungaro wait anxiously outside their classroom at the Aga Khan Academy in Mombasa County. They're about to attend their afternoon mathematics class, and they're both keen to know how they fared in a recent assessment test. The two are deskmates and they reflect on their performance. They are both passionate about their studies and share the same enthusiasm for sailing, a sport they took an interest in last year. We started sailing late last year. Um, we originally started it for CAS, a requirement that our school has, creativity, action and service. So we chose activity to fill our action requirements, but it later developed into more of a passion. Their school had a partnership with the Mombasa Yacht Club, where budding sailors could learn more about the sport and use its ideals as life lessons. Straighten your dealer! The training sessions were scheduled at a convenient time on the weekends in order not to interfere with their studies. If you are not a swimmer, it takes courage for you to really get in the ocean and sail. And it is that risk-taking bit of it that we want the student to utilize even way after life. We sail once every week uh, on Saturdays, either in the morning or, the, or the afternoon, depending on the tides. Sailing is not for the faint-hearted, and it involves harnessing the power of the wind to move a boat known as a dinghy. The mastery of the ever-changing conditions requires both great skill and experience. Their parents were apprehensive about their daughter's decision to be at the mercy of an engineless boat navigating through ocean water. Um, they thought it would be quite dangerous due to the unreliability of the winds and how they be can be quite strong in the tides but then we later got to explain to them how it can be safer and the precautions that we take when sailing so they later got into it and they understood that it wasn't quite dangerous. Vivian's mother was even more concerned and she wanted to observe what her daughter was involved in firsthand. My parents were not all for it. My mom insisted on coming for the first few sessions however they be began to grow more supportive and now see me enjoying the sport. Learning the ropes was a complicated but enjoyable affair for the duo. One of the instructors admits that their biggest challenge was overcoming the fear of the unknown, aside from their ability to navigate the boat. What they've learned from other people that it's a dangerous sport, and they heard about sharks, about capsizing, and it took me time to convince them how saying is fun and forget about what people are telling them. Although sailing is a preserve of the coastal area and near large water bodies, it's largely for economic reasons and rarely as a competitive sport. Ted Indaro is the only Kenyan to date that has attended a major sailing competition when he featured in the 2014 World Sailing Championships in Spain. Vivian and Felista have similar ambitions, although major competitions are few and far between. We had one informal competition last year um, where we got to learn about how to approach the sport in a race situation and it was quite fun. Sailing also features at the Olympic Games for both men and women with the sport adopting the use of similar boats which are smaller and lighter. The demands test the sailors athletics and technical abilities to their optimum. I hope to get a sailing license eventually and sail personally for leisure and possibly even in university. For now they will continue savoring their moments on the ocean hoping to raise the profile of competitive sailing to new heights. Bernard Dong for Citizen Sports.